with me is probably one of the biggest badasses of the cat family in Africa and it's called an African serval. Now what makes them so cool is those big ears over there that you see. They use them like amplifiers and what they'll typically do is they'll put their ear to the ground and they'll listen for small rodents, that's what they eat. And those ears are like satellite dishes when they hunt. They've also got the biggest and longest legs relative to their body of any cat out there. And they use those legs to generate incredible speed and to jump into the air to catch ground birds, things like hardy does and little guinea fowl. These dudes have got one of the top hunt success rates of all the cats out there. It's over 50%. But despite their hunting prowess and camouflage, these elusive cats are in trouble. Habitat loss, snares, and the illegal skin trade are causing a decline in the serval population in South Africa. These two brothers had a tough start to life. Found orphaned at just five weeks old, they were brought to Freemi, a rehabilitation centre located in KwaZulu Natal, South Africa. The organisation has lots of experience in rehabilitating and releasing servals. Freemi get a lot of servals every year. They're born, unfortunately, when the farmers are burning fire breaks and that sort of thing, which makes them quite vulnerable to human involvement and pressure. So they were brought in, they were about five weeks old. Uh, fortunately, they were eating on their own and weren't, they didn't have to be bottle fed, which is why they have stayed as wild and unaccustomed to humans as they are, which for their rehabilitation is a really, really good thing. It's not going to be an easy road for these little guys. Once released, they'll not only have to learn to hunt for themselves, but they'll need to challenge other servals which already exist out there for territory. We have to try and find a hole and that there are no servals in that particular area or not too many servals so that when we release these guys they're not competing all the time and they're not going to ch get chased out. Because they're in prime condition and because they haven't been hand reared um, their probably the survival rate will probably be quite good. Being cats they never lose the hunting instinct. Free Me has actually had a number of really fantastic uh, reintroductions which have worked thanks to satellite collar technology. So I think this little dude and his brother have got a chance. Satellite collar technology is really important. It allows scientists to keep track of animal movement patterns and alerts them to poaching or snaring incidents. So to monitor these cats in the wild, they're going to get some cool telemetry devices. This is a serval collar. You'd put a, a, a small transmitter into a housing that you've created. The housing has got a battery inside it and a little transmitter with a little antenna, giving a signal every two hours. Um, a GPS fix every two hours, and every 10 minutes it'll tell us whether the animal's alive. And if anything's wrong, it'll SMS you and tell you that uh, the animal's dead, or it's under stress, or it's moved out of its area. Top of everyone's list is the welfare of the animal. And there are strict guidelines in place to ensure that the telemetry device doesn't compromise the survival of the serval. The weight of the total collar cannot be more than 3% of the body weight of the animal. And the collar is designed with a number of weak points as a fail-safe to ensure that once the battery is flat and it's no longer transmitting, it falls off. After a year, year and a half, that rusts away completely and the collar breaks off the animal and the animal is none the way. Unfortunately, telemetry technology is very expensive, with collars costing around $800 each. For now, only one of the Serval brothers is going to get a tracking device and be released. With a collar ready, a perfect release site needs to be found. And there is no better man to ask than one of the world's leading Serval experts, Dr. Ramesh. Satellite collar, check. Carefully selected release site, check. Now it's time to get this guy back into the wild where he belongs. But before we transport him, we're going to have to tranquilize this badass little cat. Wildlife vet Dr. Dave Gibbs arrives with a dart gun. The serval is definitely not happy about having so many humans around him. It's 
takes about 10 minutes for him to go down. Dr. Gibbs gently removes the cat from the enclosure and secures him in the carrier. Once at the release site, Victor and Dr. Gibbs fit the satellite collar, ensuring that it's properly secured, but not too tight. Okay, we're just going to administer the antidote, and um, it'll probably, probably take about 10 minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going to fly. Freedom. Oh, they're ready for it. A few minutes later, and it's go time. The little guy takes a bit of prompting, but then he's off. And as I watch this cat's hesitant retreat into the undergrowth, I'm once again reminded how important it is to preserve the planet's wildlife, no matter if it's the biggest tiger or a smaller relative, the African serval.